Hey everyone, welcome back to another video with me. <laughs> um, I'm Nikki and if you don't know, I'm helping you sell things for your friends and family. Go ahead below, subscribe to my channel because that's what we do. We make things for friends and family. All right, today we're making a cork fold wallet with cork fabric, a billfold wallet. Um, because I'm thinking about the men in your lives, the guys, hey, even the females. But the idea is, is to give you an idea of some things that you can make for men. Um, <laughs> so go ahead and grab your supplies and let's get started. <laughs> What we are going to do, this cork fabric, if you do not know, okay, it feels different um, than regular fabric. It's a little thicker. It's not as thick as um, full fabric if you've been using the faux um, that I've done in some videos. Um, so it's a little bit, you know, you can, it's thicker than regular fabric, but you know, you can actually still, you know, play around with it. Um, yeah, this is the new thing that's floating around in the fabric stores. Okay, so the pieces are below, the template is below. Um, it's not my original template. I actually just altered it from something that I saw. Um, and you know, that's what we're going to work with now. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna take the two pieces um, for the outer part. I'm going to lay these right side, I mean, wrong sides together. I know it goes against like a lot of things that um, that I've ever said to you um, with sewing pretty sides to pretty sides, right? Okay, so I'm going to use clips for this particular project. We don't want to put pins through um, cork fabric. Okay, it will leave holes. It's almost, you know, like vinyl. It's almost like a uh, faux leather. Okay, all right. I'm going to put a top stitch around this entire air around this entire piece. This is going to be the outside of the wallet, but it's also going to um, be seen when you open up the wallet. Okay. Okay. So um, start anywhere, and um, you can close up the you can close it up. You don't have to leave um, any open parts. Now I am going to be using, I'm using right now um, cotton fabric, I mean cotton thread. You can use all purpose for this. Um, the only thing I do recommend is that you take your time because when you poke a hole through this, the hole will stay. Okay, it's just like um, full, um, using the faux. The other thing is you have the option, if you have a Teflon foot, you can put on a Teflon um, that might be a little bit easier for you. Okay. The good thing about this fabric is that you can cut it and it will look nice and sharp when you cut it. No frayed edges. When I originally found this pattern, I found it um, from someone that I was working, learning leather from. And I realized how easy it was to sew with leather, although it's thicker. But um, yeah, this cork fabric, it's, it's nice because you, um, you can actually cut it and it doesn't fray, which we are gonna cut this when we're done, um, meaning just the edges. Okay, so at this point, what we want to do is put this to the side, okay? We're going to work with this piece right here. We're going to attach the pockets on. What I would like for you to do is fold it in half just so we can um, 
find out where the middle of this project of the middle of this piece of fabric is okay this is my um, fusion pen marks with from tracing the pattern um, but obviously you know they'll come out when it's ironed go ahead and mark the middle of that um, of your the middle of your piece of material okay that's going to help us out okay and what we want to do right now is you want to grab those little pocket um, slots that we have here. You should have four of them. Okay, we're going to work with the left side first. Okay, and what we want to do, we want to find, we want to first put a line that's about a quarter of an inch. I'm going to go from this way. Okay, so what I'm doing is I am lining up, I know it might be hard because... My table is almost the same color as the as the um, as the cork fabric, but my quarter inch line is right there. So I'm going to just place a small mark here because it's going to just help me and let me know where I actually want to place uh, my pocket, my first pocket that we're that I'm starting with. Okay, okay. So what I'm going to do is a quarter of an inch. I'm going to add on the first pocket here. What we want to do is we want to make sure that you are um, going flush with the edge of the fabric here. Okay, you see this? Go flush with that edge. Okay, go ahead and um, clip it on. No, wrong side. Okay. Top stitch the bottom of this. Okay, we want to hold this card slot in place. So go ahead really close to the edge, about an eighth of an inch. Now, because I knew I was not turning anything right side out, um, I am using a color thread that is so similar to this cork fabric. I hope you can, I hope you can see it. <laughs> Okay, because I knew that we would see it, um, so, okay, so that's on. We want to do the same thing. We, what we want to do now is prep for the second um, pocket that's going on. We want to line this up with the very bottom. So we want to go over to the edge the same way that we did with the top one. Notice that this portion is curved. I know that we're aware of that don't worry about it what's most important is that you're going to line this up with the bottom piece and you see this i know it's so similar look so that's lined up it looks great it's lined up perfectly there okay i'm just going to clip this And I'm going to put a top stitch right on the bottom down there. I'm gonna move that one over. And again, I'm going one eighth of an inch. Back stitching. The idea, so you see this? This is the idea. The idea is that um, you have these just like that. Um, we're going to um, sew a straight line, but I just want to show you this real quick. So the idea is that these cards will slide right inside of there. Okay. So now we're going to sew a straight line. Uh, pin this back. We're going to sew a straight line right down the pocket so from the tip of the pocket okay and we're going to connect it with the second card slot here okay so from here all the way down not from the very top just from the top of the of the card slot when you get to the portion where the card slot where the second card slot is, just backstitch over that a little bit. 
I'm just taking my time because the colors are so similar that I just need to make sure that I'm <laughs> um, on the edge. Okay. Mm. All right. Cutting off these threads. Okay. Looks good. I'll fix that later. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to, to the left side. Don't forget to backstitch um, over the card slot um, portion. All right. And now let's just check out, um, let's just slide looks good let's do the top okay so let's go ahead and do the same thing to the other side I'll cut all those threads off later start with your top there's my quarter inch line that's the quarter inch line and I'm lined up with the sides of with the edge okay just making sure it wasn't crooked okay if you um, don't have the um, these heat pens oh they're a lifesaver because you can actually mark I like them better than the marking pencils to be honest <laughs> I don't need that okay I'm going to sew right across the bottom one eighth of an inch we want to secure this one in place this card slot Going to do the same thing to the second card slot remember we want to line it up on the bottom we're concerned with the bottom okay removing that okay you know what what I'm going to do just to save a little time is I'm going to start at the top here and I'm just going to connect them all the way down and then I'm going to go across okay and come back up just to save time I'm not starting at the top of the wallet I'm starting at the top of the card slot okay back stitching Ever so often, I just give it a little bit of extra love. Going all the way around, I'm not going to stop. This is the portion where the first card slot, um, where the card slot connects to the other, so I gave it a little extra love. Okay. The tips of the pocket, um, we know that you put cards in, you take cards out, it will get a lot of use. So that's why you want to give it a few extra stitches. Okay, let's just check this portion. Good. Everything is tucked in. That looks good. So now what we what we're ready to do is we're ready to go ahead and connect it on with our main um, panel here. Okay, so go ahead and grab that main panel. Um, if you want to take a look and see which side looks best to you. Um, they both look good. Oh, just make big, just, you know, pay attention that you don't get, um, you know, your fabric crooked or anything. What we want to do is line up the bottom, line up, so this is the bottom, okay, this part with the, obviously, with the little um, curve <laughs> is the bottom of the wallet. I'm going to slide it down to the bottom. The goal is we want to line up the very bottom of the wallet, but move it all the way over to the edge so that your edges line up, so the edges and the bottom. I'm going to have to just cut that. I can see that little portion right there. Um, um, just having to do with the cutting so I'll cut that when we're done 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to um, clip this together. And now, um, notice here that you have this space that's um, a little larger, it's wider. The card slot area doesn't reach over. I know, it's meant to do that so that when this open and closes, there's flexibility for the cards to move because once you get the cards inside, they're going to be thick and it's going to be hard um, in order for it to um, open and close. You wanna lift it and you wanna make it stretch over there. Again, make sure you line up the bottom and line up those edges, okay? So that you have something like this. Can you see this? You purposely, you want this to be like this purposely. Go from top to bottom, all the way from the top, all the way down to the bottom, okay? All right, so I'll sew all the way down, starting from the top here, the top of the pocket. I'll go all the way down and come all the way across and I'm going to stop right here at the, not, um, not here at the card slot area, but at the tip of the curve right there. Okay, all right. Um, an extra pretty fabric. <laughs> Giving it just a little extra back stitching. Gave a little bit of extra back stitching, and let me just show you. So you see right there, I um, stopped right there at the curve, right there at the curve. Okay. All right. So now, I'm going to do the other portion. Look at this. What I'm doing here. I'm squeezing this here so that I know that there is um, kind of like a bulge here. Okay. We want it to be like that. So I'm going to start sewing right at the tip there and going all the way across and all the way up to the top. Okay, here's my curve. Mm. I know you guys might not get that angle because this is lifted. <laughs> so I'm blocking your camera view. <laughs> I was going to sew on the outside, but okay, removing that clip. Turning. I'm just ensuring that the top portion of the pockets here are lined up. Being careful not to go past that top card slot. Okay. And we have a finished billfold wallet. Um, when I'm not on camera, that I'm going to iron it in order to... Oh, you know what? Um, let me show you, just in case your material may have shifted, um... What you can do um, is just cut around the edges. Oh, so you see, you should have a portion here um, from the pattern that's um, squared. What we wanna do is go ahead and round that out. Okay, so you wanna round that out. Okay, and if your fabric shifted for some reason, um, I was going to get the cutting mat and just use the rotary cutter but um, you can just go ahead and it cuts very easily. This is such a thin little portion here that I need to get rid of. So I'm gonna iron off my, um, iron off my fusion when I'm not on camera, okay? Oh, this looks really good. 
curving this portion as well. All right, that looks really good. So when it opens, um, again, <laughs> um, the idea was, the reason that I created the second layer was so that when this is open, you know, you can, the bill, when the bills are inside, you don't see the raw fabric from this side. The raw fabric is right here, which you don't see. You're not going to see my lines. I'm going to iron that off. But um, on this portion here, you're seeing the actual good fabric. So that's why I added on an additional layer so that um, we don't see that. Okay, but this is the bill area, obviously, and you have your card slots. So, and that's all for now. This portion right there is so that when the wallet closes, obviously, it gives it that little bit of flexibility. That's all, guys. That would be the cork billfold wallet. <laughs> and this comes on a roll. It doesn't come in a yard the way normal fabric does. So um, just be mindful of that. You can find it in the notions area of the um, fabric department. Okay, so put your comments down below. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you back for the next video. <laughs> All right, get to sewing.